Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. Isn't that a sight for sore eyes, huh? This is my old office chair. It broke, broke the the wheels off of it at least six years ago, maybe seven or eight, maybe yeah, six or seven years for sure. It was at the other house. I've been in this house now five and a half years. And I've always planned to fix it to make uh, new legs. I thought it'd make a good workshop chair. <laughs> Might be biting off more than I can chew here. It's got a steel frame. I don't know. No bad shape, it seems like right. If I could get a nut on there, that would make it easy. Then I just need to make a frame and put four wheels on it. I wouldn't make I wouldn't make it this small no, I'd I'd make it out to about here. The rectangle shape give it a little more stability. It's it's in bad shape, but it's surprisingly strong. It's been outside for a lot of years. And the cat got at it. It's been a few years outside. So what I got to do is I think I'm going to use angle iron. If I can, uh, if I have nuts for these, and I can get them on there, that would be the easiest way. If not, I'll just weld right to here. I don't really want to weld to here because I'll probably end up catching it on fire, but, you know, this is not thin. It's, uh, it's rusty, but it's plenty strong, I'd say. I don't know what the deal is with this. See what's in my magic tickle trunk here. It seems like it should fit. Don't you fit? That's the right size. And red string is a little annoying. Okay, that won't work. I can just. Cut a hole, poke it through, and then weld around it. That might work. I could just cut it off and weld right to the frame. Like I said, I'm worried about catching the thing on fire. company. Remember that puppy? I got him now. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. He's still crazy. He's still crazy. Still thinks there's food in the camera. <laughs> Good boy. Okay here's what we got. Uh, I cut the two bolts off here because they didn't line up and I couldn't be bothered to drill it out again. Or the in I just had to enlarge these holes and uh, would have been fine I think but I decided to cut them off and we'll just weld to the back and hopefully don't catch nothing on fire so what I want is 16 inches from the floor to the to the chair here's my wheel so I measure this 
seven and a half inches take it away from 16 that's how high this needs to be and I weld my wheel on top of that so I'll make another one of these flipped upside down piece of angle iron right here put the wheels on should be fine why dude why <laughs> hello Leo how are you doing there's the wheel you see the wheel there's the wheel hopefully it's somewhat flat <laughs> But uh, I'll tack the wheels and uh, and check it out and see. It's just tacked together right now. And nothing is welded out. That's the idea. Before it just had the, the you know like a normal chair, a center post, and then five wheels coming off the bottom. Uh, this should be stronger, that's for sure. One thing I've always been good at that's breaking chairs. <laughs> so I'm sure this one will break at some point. I'm a professional. Now the fun part. Don't catch the chair on fire. <laughs> good luck with that. Fire blanket would be good. Only a little fire. I can handle that. This box is not square, which is my own fault because the frame is not square on the chair. But I should have made the box square anyway. So it looks funny. Nobody's going to see it, but it does look funny. It's only a quarter of an inch, too, and uh, still noticeable. But no one's going to see it. I'll put a shim on that corner. That'll take that wobble out. Enough of it anyway. I hope. <laughs> it might be done. See what I did? I caught her on fire when I was putting the wheels on. First way wheel. Water worked. Now Fingers crossed it's going to be somewhat level. I guess three out of four wheels on the floor at a time. That'll be enough. No point being too optimistic. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, she's top heavy. I think I'll be able to do a backflip. It is very, very top heavy. That's not good. Whee! The load test works. I can spin. That's cool. The fake leather, it's a little crackly. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Now, oh, I got a good chair now for to sit beside the fire. I tell you what, I just gotta laugh. This is pretty funny. 
Uh, almost needs needs to be wider. That's all right. It's not going to move anywhere. I'm going to put it over here behind the door where I always sit beside the fire right there and uh, call her good. I really didn't need to put wheels on it. I just thought it'd be cool. You know? It's good to be cool. Well, there it is, guys. Another workshop project done. Now when you come to visit, you can sit on the bucket and I'll sit in the cool chair because I'm not going to share. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.